Hello my dear friends, welcome to the Electronic channel, this is Uncle Misha. Well, today we have another load of cassettes, as you see, right here in the box. I have no idea how many of them, but that's not yet, not everything, not yet everything. And there is another box right here, so it's upside down, I'll show you. It's all these kind of boxes. So, so if you poke around in your local Craigslist or kind of a board where people selling like fair marketplace, Kijiji and stuff like that, some people actually giving up those. Okay? Usually that means they are in pitiful condition. So today I'm gonna take a look what the heck we have here because I have no idea what's in there. I just got it like that and those two but obviously on the other box it's kind of easier to understand what's there but here it's all everything is piled up and and it's quite of plain plenty of, of cassettes but I already see that some of them look at this for example Chicago's greatest hits like it's just yeah and what the heck is this it's probably as old as my grandparents yeah so we're gonna take a look what we have here quickly. I'm gonna put this down and gonna take by bunch because I just cannot really deal with it like just like that. Okay, so let's do this. But first, let's start with this box. So here is a bit easier to deal with, and it uh, obviously you can see everything right here. And let's just quickly check because some of them are empty. <laughs> For example, this is empty. Whatever it is. Nat King Cole. Okay, this is okay. Cassette. It's all dusty. Yeah, that's all Canadian stuff. But in temp in, in the meantime, this is like glue over or something. No. In the meantime, I'm gonna put this just in here. That's gonna be none. So we have lots of Type One cassettes here. This is actually interesting um maxell i never actually had the chance to play with this green oh it's a green okay it's it's pre this maxell yeah ensemble in mexico maybe this is okay I never actually recorded anything on this kind of maxell. <coughs> wow oh my god it's dusty <sighs> yeah all this dusty stuff excuse me all right, so we have another Maxal of same kind. Yeah, Billy Joel. So looks like we have gonna have a whole bunch of type ones here. Here is DR. Fuji DR. I don't know. It's it's interesting that this is actually type type one cassette, but look how how black in comp. That's actually you no know, in comparison. This tape is interesting. It's very very dark. It's not black per se, but it's very dark. Okay, I actually never recorded it again on Type One Fuji DR of this era. So there's another Maxell like this here. Is DR two? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's as, unless it's, ah, oh, <laughs> you see what's happening here, so this is not the right box, okay, so here's, what is what this, dynamic range, I don't even know what the heck is this, it's the same story, it's the R1, you see, that's a, it's a cheating here, but, I was kind of wondering why it's the tape look exactly the same. So here we have a gold star. Obviously type one, whatever it is. It's gold star is previous in previous life LG, Pearl Jam, blah blah. Oh look at this. It's the the pad is busted here. So yeah, it's clearly needs some renovation or just chucking. It depends how much time I have. Okay, it's another DR. Oh yeah, well here we are again. So Maxell inside the DR case. What is? Ooh, what the heck is this? Ah, cleaning cassette. Okay. Um, no, never had. I actually don't have any of these. Any of these kind of. I kind of put them to the to the side. Oh, okay. it's a different DR one. It's older. This is older version. Yeah. Again, same story. I never recorded on DR ones. 
So this is DR1 case. Oh, busted. Look at this. And TDK D60 in there. Oh, take a look. Oh my god, this stays so mangled. Take a look at this. This is something I never seen before. BBC normal bias. Very like again dark brown tape. Interesting. This is something to do some experiments with. BBC FX90 normal bias. BBC tape. Cool. This is something unusual for this kind of area. So it's another Fuji DR. It's a different little bit different. Oh, it's the same. Different kind. But this is not. It's TDK D60. Alright. Here is actually TDK D60, but not TDK D60 thing. Caroling country so this is some caroling christmas music sony hf case and um maxell db uh memorex db here all right that's the funky one i'm not sure what it like 89 or something kind of time time frame or 99 sorry all right sony f Super EF, but I wish it was actually Sony Super EF in there, but it's not. It's something. It's uh, Maxell. Okay, Sony again, but the case contains Maxell. Same. Maxell. Nothing to write home about. The same. Here's a bit better Maxell, I presume. Here is Dance Hit 99. Hilarious. And another one like that. Yeah, I have to do something with this Maxels. Never actually played with them. Cool, so here we are. So this is what we have in this container. It looks like a whole bunch of type 1s. Oh, only one type 2 somewhere. Fuji, Fuji, I think it's so. No, no, it's not even wrong. It's not, it's not type 2. All type 1s right in this box. I'm not sure how good are they, but here we are. So now I'm gonna just pile a whole bunch of tapes right in here, gonna just pile them on on the table. Uh sticks. This is sticks, sticks, sticks. Not a big fan of sticks, but Survivor, the Eye of the Tiger. Again, don't know what even what is the CBS. Yeah. America, history, America greatest hits. Yeah, a horse with no name need you, woman tonight. Sister going hit Daisy Jane. I believe this is something very junky music. Oh, this is an interesting case. Never seen this before. I'm not sure. Wow. Memorex 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 one type, obviously one. Wow, this is this is an interesting case. Yeah, cool. V very oh it's broken oh i wish it wasn't broken oh that's okay but the tape is is it a cleaning thing wow yeah well interesting case but broken there's this bach it's bach well, it's classic let's put it here Tempus Cassette C60, what is that? Tempus Cassette, wow, low noise. I will. Oh, Hong Kong, so this is something Hong Kong made. Very interesting. Never seen this before, that's an oddity to me. A novelty, I would say. Uh, what the heck is this? I don't know, actually. Memorex DBS, is this like... This is how it's actually quite hefty. Like, it feels heavier. This set is it DBS? DBS what? Sixty ninety. I just want to know if this is the if this is the right case. Psst. Yeah, but at least at least it's not mangled. This is in relatively good shape. Memorex DB. Probably just uh, just updated. Uh, newer version of this MRI one or something to this extent. Memorex, D someone was actually a big fan of Memorexes. This one is actually looking okay. Yeah, I'm not sure. I never actually recorded on this one. Obviously, the wrong case and the labels. 
More. Let's pull more. Here we am. Yeah, whatever. Not a big fan. Okay, Sony Ace H SHF. Never actually recorded anything on this kind of cassette. But looking at the cassette is actually a nice cassette. I wish no, yeah, yeah, it's, a, it's even clean on the other side. It's actually a nice looking cassette. Pretty simple, but yeah, never, yeah, be nice to try record anything on this guy. What is this? I don't, uh, I wish it was UDXL, but it doesn't look like is UDXL. Looks like it's TDI this D90 in disguise. Unfortunately, ooh. Ha, yeah, that's cool. Bus Ferrochrome. Curious in what kind of condition this guy is. Looks like it's not bad, not rusted. It, that's should that's rare actually. That's good in in this in a Sony case. Oh, here is first type two. That that was type three. All right. One hundred. Maxell 100. It's, it's first type too. A D O ho ho. I don't see many of these kinds. You see, D 120. I don't know if I even have one like that. By the way, this is the case for that black Memorex, like this one. Yeah. The wrong case for. What is this? Sony, Sony what? I guess the the the, the, uh, the newer version of Sony's. So, yeah, this is just Maxell UD, but I, I I like this because look at the hubs. They are actually blue. Are they glowing or something? No, they're not. Would be amazing to actually have glowing hubs. I can just pull this out right away because it doesn't make it's still falling off anyways. Yeah, this is a nice looking cassette actually. Nice and clean, not bashed. A little bit dust here. Not sure how good it all. Uh, Barbara Streisand. I actually like this Sony. This is this is one of my favorite Sony HFs. It's nice looking cassette. Um, it plays well. Yeah. TDK D60. This is older version. Good too, I would say. Another one of these Sony's SHF. Yeah. Again, in good condition actually. Oh, a little bit of text in here. But I'm not sure how good is the cassette, so can't say anything. Okay, this is the Clown um, Memorex, Clown cassette. Just, just typical, typical, I guess, type 1. Nothing, I, I don't think it has any. Oh, with even the stickers, that's good. To write home about here, all very dusty, but the case is in good condition. I have more. Okay, this is some kind of recorded music. What is Credence Clearwater Revival? What? Credence Clearwater Revival? I don't know what the heck is this. Okay, here we are, the case of that Maxell, I guess. XL2, where is it? That's the right spot for you, my friend. Uh, so this is the newer version of Sony, which I don't like, per se, like visually. Oh, here we are, it's another Type 2. The DKSA, that's okay. It's a, it's a good DKSA, unfortunately. Case C is actually cases from SA, so this is Type 2. Two Type 2 so far. Uh, how's the know what the heck is this? Says nothing on it. Ferro Extra. Is this BSF? <gasps> it is. Mm hmm. It is. Yes, actually, this is okay. Okay, I have an, another one like that. I think this is BSF. Ferro Extra One. Uh, I don't actually. I don't have rec have any good recording um, uh, results on this guy. So uh, something to poke around as well. Because I have few sealed. 
you know, if I can't play with this one, this one seems to be in good condition. I can't play with that one. Chicago Greatest Hist. It's probably junk. Here's another of those Black Memoraxes, which I... I don't even know. They look cool-ish. What do you guys think about these guys? I'm not, sure, I'm not sure how good are they. Yeah, typical. Typical. You are. This is early ver version of you are. Maxell, you are. Movies, music. Okay. Nice case. Nice sturdy case. We have more. There's this junk here. Something super bashed. Ozzy, oh, oh, Ozzy Osbourne. Yeah, it's not. I like Ozzy Osbourne. If it, this is what it is, it looks like it's a chrome tape. Chrome tape, because look at how black it's dark. But says nothing on it. Sometimes you have a uh, chrome chrome tapes, um, but recorded on Type One equalization. So, so Elton John. That could be. Is it? Oh yeah, it is. I think I have this album already. Actually, ah, Elton John is okay. I don't mind Elton John. Another the clown cassette, hundred ten. It's ridiculous. What is this? Oh, sco oh, I wish that was Scotch, right? It's another one of those. It's completely mismatched tapes here. So keep the the tapes to cases. So yet another wrong case. Yeah. A lot of these guys, they're just okay. Oh, one of those. In Fuji case. Oh, the black ones. The, I think the black URs, this, these are more like... Um, it's a special category of this Maxell uh, URs. I think they more like... Um, Professional series, I think. Ah, no, never mind. This is inside out. Yeah, I mix it up. But there are Maxell Professional. They kind of in this kind of color scheme. That's why I kind of got confused. Another Maxell UR. Looks like I'm gonna have Maxell UR galore here. Oh, at least something interesting. I don't have this one. It's a um, Scotch Type 2, so something like decent here, or half decent. Where is that case? It was here, Scotch case somewhere. Oh, here, that's why I kept it. Okay, that's correct casing now. Okay, that's gonna be Type 2 here. Okay, we have... <laughs> I wish it was this tape, not Bonnie Riot. Whatever is Bonnie Riot. Okay, we have this Memorex DB in another kind of good and sturdy case. Not sure how good is that. Actually, pretty good case. What the heck? Oh, what is this? Oh, it's another clearing one. Nice. Cassette de nettoyage. Dirty cleaning tape will not clean well. Use clean part. Use clean part. What is that supposed to mean? Okay, I have two cleaning things, and this is Sony. Right, where is the first one? It was somewhere here. So I have two, two cleaning cassettes now. I do clean my head properly, anyways, by the uh, by the common, well-known methods. But uh, I mean, heads. I said heads. Oh, here we are. Uh, you know, I know, I, li I like these cassettes, they are looking nice, but I don't have any good success recording uh, on them using a g g equipment I have. Oh yeah, here's uh, the Type 1 case. Yeah, and especially, I think they don't age well. That's my another uh, opinion. They, I don't think they age well. Uh, in my Harman Kardon CD4013 header, it's almost impossible to record well on these guys. On old guys. I never actually try on new ones, uh, the new old stock, I mean. But on these, it's horrible. Okay, well, that's wrong. This is where it's supposed to be. This is where you're supposed to be. Yeah. Can't try to record anything on these guys yet. 
Nice case. I like I like BSF kits. They are very nice. What is that? Audio Magnetics Ultra 2. I think is it type 2? Yeah. This type 2. Wow. High bias. Never actually seen this. I also want to printed stuff. They're rolling, rolling stones. Deep purple. Ooh. It looks like someone was a big fan of rock and roll or let me. Okay, well interesting to play with this tape. Cool. I just leave it like this. At least that's very old. Oh, it's another type two. Oh, finally you have something cool looking. I like this case. That's that's I have a, some soft spot for these Maxell cases. Yeah. So that's good. Ooh, this is something new to me. This is cool. That's uh, heavyweight in type one category from Maxell. This is XLIS. Okay, so super fine epitaxial. This is cool to play with, and it's actually in good condition. This is neat. What do we have here? Volume Vader. Who the heck is this? But it's a good pile. Michael Jackson. Black and is it single? It is just oh, Michael Jackson single. Black and white instrumental and black and white. Okay, well, so, uh, this is my actually first tape of Michael Jackson, by the way. Okay, I'm gonna keep it somewhere here. And oh, another, another one of those super thin. Look at this, look at this tape. It's you know, you see this? How it's like, it's like, it's um, very thin. Yeah. Where this is made? Does it say right? Yeah. Those are very cheesy, but at least case is nice. Can be a donor for something else. Okay, we're almost coming to the end. What is this? Oh, it's a bit an older version of TDKD than previous ones. Very bad condition though. Probably gonna go to garbage. This is something. Oh. And here we are. Another. So we don't have. Actual actual cassette of this case. I wish. I wish. I wish. Is it? No, it's not super right. It's it, that's an older version of probably the same level cassette. Uh, it, uh, by the way, what I like about this, like I actually don't like uh, this uh, flat had a um, screwdriver kind of bolts. So yeah, look, they looks cool, but for some reason I prefer Philips. Yeah, for this. Okay, that's gonna be probably it. Uh, there are some interesting finds here. The most probably interesting pile is this bunch of Type 2s with some of the unique cassettes, like uh, like this, this, and that. That that's I have plenty of these guys, no problem. But these three are interesting to me. So um, don't have this, don't have that. This is the, the, probably this is the, oh, the, uh, where is Ferrochrome? Well, and also we have Fer Ferrochrome somewhere here. Yeah, that Ferrochrome is always interesting because it's rare, especially rare in a good condition. Yeah, very hard to find. Well, guys, that's gonna be it. This is all I have to show you. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna be like, obviously, when I have time, when I have spare time, I'm gonna be going through some of them, checking like, you know, checking like uh, beginning and the ends of tapes. Because if they are mangled, I don't need them. Because I don't wanna, you know, I don't want too much work. Um, and probably this 120 is just, just useless. Yeah, because it stretches like crazy. Um, useless. Well, yeah, so a little bit more work required to actually sort this through. Uh, whatever whatever I'm not gonna use, I'm gonna just give up probably to someone else. You know, pass it along. Maybe someone else needs some uh, tapes to play with. So obviously, yeah, it's cool to see these cleaning tapes. It's in interesting. Um, yeah, but again, I'm cleaning my hats properly, not using this stuff, so that's okay. Well, guys, again, thank you for watching. See you next time. Please stay tuned. Stay healthy and ciao.